Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to our channel. And that channel is Delp Chanel 48th World. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, share, and like my videos. But we're coming to another segment of Why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Why? Because I can can and I can can I can can and I like doing it. Okay? But anyway. We already know Porsche is out there making headline news in and everywhere we know that she's out there protesting doing her activism this but guess what the people at the black lives matter foundation they ain't trying to hear it so if you don't know anything about it i just dropped the video go and partake in it okay but we got another family member that's out here trying to tell their story their truth on their cousin Portia Williams her name is Tyreka Ford I think it's Tyreka Ford hold on yep Tyreka Ford and hopefully I do have some clips of video in there where y'all can see what cousin I'm talking about because I ain't talking about Lundy I ain't talking about Storm okay I'm talking about Tyreka Ford and she is disappointed upset and that's the girl right there in the middle. It's Portia, Tyreka, Dennis, and Dennis' mom. She is coming out in uh, defense for Dennis McKinley and Mama Gina. She said Dennis and Mama Gina is like family to her. And not like how Storm is trying to portray her as well as Dennis. She thinks that Portia is a damn fool. And... She probably thinks the same thing about Lauren, her half-sister. Okay? Thank you, fam, for correcting me on that. All right? Because I was saying her stepsister. But it is what it is. Okay? But anyway. Um, yeah. <sighs> she really think, I guess her family is just crazy. And she told her personally, Portia, that she would not be filming with her on this new reality show she's being a part of because she know it was going to be a bunch of bullshit and she did not want to be a part of it. And of course, we got these allegations out here that Portia and her cousin Storm tried to put out on Dennis McKinley and everybody knows anything. They love lucky up black men, okay? And Portia and her cousin Stormy was sitting out there trying to serve Dennis up to a Mexican, Mexico, Mexico jail cell, okay? Because they felt that, uh, yeah, Storm had got hands put on her by, um, Dennis McKinley. And y'all know she released that book. And I came on my channel and told y'all. I, I purchased that book for $13. Okay, it was about $37 when she first came out in November with it. It is $13 at this time. It may have dropped even further. But I have been doing excerpts of it. So make sure y'all catch it. Because it is kind of juicy. Don't know why Porsche put all her family business up in there like that. Maybe she's doing some cleansing. Maybe she's doing some healing. But I don't think I would have done that that way. But keep in touch i do drop them and i would be dropping every last chapter until i'm finished okay gotta get my 13 dollars back and more all right because it was a bunch of mess but anyway we're gonna go on into shadow and act their blogging site they talk about reality tv stars news and business and not there but they're basically doing this one because portia williams one of her cousins had enough sense to say it ain't all about the money. It ain't about how I'm looked upon on television. Thinking I can probably get other jobs because I'm likable. I'm cute. And they may find some work for me. Shout out to the shared room for using their picture of Miss Storm. Okay. But Miss Tarika wasn't having it. She said, I love myself for Miss Gina. And Portia ain't had no damn well, no hands but it should have been put on Mama Gina. Okay, and Storm should have known better too. And she probably would have went further to say it. If she was there, she would have been uh, right there as Mrs. Uh, Miss Gina's bodyguard. Okay, because that woman is down like the power sign. You know, like the ghetto sign, the power, black power holding uh, symbolization. When you put, put your fist up, she's down like that for Mama Gina. Okay, and that other cute girl that y'all just saw, South before a storm pitch came on that was somebody who p 
people out in the YouTube streets are trying to put Dennis with. But I think it was just an associate. She was just doing some promotion with him for that uh, cognac type drink. Nothing really there. But <laughs> anything to make Dennis look good, he going to use it, okay, to his advantage. So I don't know what's going to be with Portia and her lifestyle now. Because it seems like everybody is coming at her. Here are the Black Lives Movement people are coming with her because she was using their tags, their face their uh brand to promote her activism on black lives matter but right now they mad because she around him putting pink putting hands on folks especially black folks at that and it kind of tarnished her image with them now see one thing i like about lauren's mom she films very little scenes they're like cameo shots and when she ain't with the bullshit she acts off stage right and see that's that's how it would be if my daughter had a show I'll be a part of your show. But once you go left, I'm I'm exiting stage right. Okay? Left, down the middle, I'm out. But first, I'll probably have to tell you what I felt about what you did. It seems like you disrespected somebody. Or, or, or you look in a certain way that's not positive. I would have had it on camera. If they edited it out, that would have been their fault. But they would have had my ass. They would have been looking at the back of my ass walking away from film. I can tell you that. So, I really, really, really respect and love um, Miss, uh, I think her name is Lisa. Which is Lauren's mom. So kudos. Shout out to her. Uh, but anyway. We're going to go on into this story. Uh, that they wrote out. Uh, Nico Rose put it out on January the 11th. Which was yesterday. And it was making its circulation. Uh, through the YouTube streets. I just hadn't had time to put my two cents. Or my spin on it. She titles her article. Portia Williams cousin slams her for disrespecting. Uh, Dennis McKinley's mom. Said she declined spinoff fake narrative so golly her cousin coming off the uh back saying this whole thing that we saw it was scripted you know but of course you can't script out a fight that you were trying to have with mama gina and dennis because then was, she was throwing real plates real spoons forks and knives uh microphone stands that hurt she was throwing mics too uh, but you know everything was just going so fast. I was just like, ooh, I just heard glass breaking, uh, plates break, breaking, and I hope it ain't hit nobody up inside the head. But that's Miss Tarika Ford, the shade room or the neighborhood talk got that and the article that she put out, and she's just like she don't like that disrespect that Lauren is throwing towards Dennis, but she's so called like her then future uh, brother-in-law but you know Dennis had even said so as well he down for uh Portia family he has no ill will but he just don't want his mama being disrespected and he don't really want to be disrespected by storm behind you know trying to uh get her two cents in and three cents in and not even made it up to a dollar to give some worth of advice okay and he, he didn't want I was feeling it um some people was put off that he was, you know, telling her to shut the fuck up and just stand third. But like I said, once you turn 20, you out of that teenage child state. You coming and forming yourself as a young adult. Uh, and she deserved everything he gave to her in this song. Just as long as, you know, like I said, uh, unless she came for him and we didn't see it. And he just had to just take that wig off her head. Okay, what you gonna get him? He can buy you another wig. He can buy you 10 or 12 wigs, okay? But when you coming at him, again, men and women, don't put up no pause, no hand motion, if you ain't gonna wanna get that hand motion pause presented back to you, okay? Don't put your hands on nobody but yourself, okay? Get that in y'all stick skull. That's all I'm saying. Unless they're coming after you and you got to fight them for your dear life. Then that's another whole situation. But remember, when the cops come, you're going to have to prove it or they're going to be taking both of y'all downtown. In your nearest state to your nearest police station. Alright, just wanted to drop that out. But going on in here, it says Tariqa Ford has come out against her reality star cousin Portia Williams in a series of posts on her Instagram story. Now, should we really believe her or not? I can say maybe so yeah because see she didn't want to be a part of this ratchet show and she has proof receipts as y'all like to say to uh justify that she did turn down Portia and the spinoff so I think she's kind of credible but going back to the story it says on Williams the Real Housewives of Atlanta spinoff show Portia Family Matters a previous episode showcased a rather heated moment that turned physical and those were there to see it y'all know it got physical okay it um it was very heated 
It was a heated moment that turned physical with Williams, her ex fiance, and child's father, Dennis McKinley, and other. Ford is not mincing words and has recently taken to social media to blast her cousin. She says Williams disrespected Dennis' mother, Gina Clayton Lane. God, God, I didn't even know her name was Clayton Lane. Good God. All right, then. All right, get serve it up. Give us all her uh, identification. Why don't you, Tariqa? But, oh, uh, yeah, Tariqa broke it down. I just knew her as Miss Dennis. I mean, as Miss Chino. And I thought her last name was McKinley. To tell you the truth, I guess she didn't marry her uh, Dennis' father. Or maybe they got divorced. And she went back to her maiden name. Kudos to her. But her name is Gina Clayton Lane. Affectionately referred to as Mama Gina. And alleged she with her now fiancé, Simon Gabardia, while he was married to his ex-wife, Fallon Pena. Okay. I'm like, okay, okay. Now, she is dropping tea. She is confirming all of what we had suggested was a, you know, kind of already sketchy story. And we were trying to, well, I wouldn't, but most bloggers were out there trying to gather all the receipts and do the timelines and all that kind of stuff. And I respect them for that. Ain't that in, enticed and in depth. We're trying to search that good on something. But those who make their living strictly on doing uh, vlogging type work uh, in the YouTube, YouTube section, and that's what they want to do, yeah, they have to dig a little further to keep them ratings up, keep them numbers up, so they can keep their lifestyle for their paycheck to be up. But, you know, I do this to supplement my income, and I like doing it, period. But it just is what it is. But, um, yeah, they go out there and research everything. They be doing credit checks on you, uh, reports uh, on pl uh, property you may own and stuff like that. I'm like, ooh, that's not too much for me. I ain't that invested. Okay, I just like to have a conversation with my family because sometimes my real family don't want to hear about the crap. They be in their own world, their own lives, and I have time sometimes. So I come, I make my YouTube platform, and I invite a house guest that I deem my family. So, love y'all, each and every one of y'all. And we just get on into the dirt. We have conversation, complete conversations sometimes, rebuttal conversations, but they're still conversations. And we are very respectful to one another. So, please come and join the house. Come on in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share videos, okay? And come and say with Mama Deb, Grandmama Deb, Cousin Deb, Auntie Deb, however y'all see me, Friend Deb, all right? It's all good in the neighborhood. But going back to the story... It says, um, uh, as reported by Ace Showbiz and the Jasmine brand, two reputable uh, blogging entities got their thing on lock. They are very credible sources. Go on over there and visit them and get some of their tea, okay? Uh, it says in Ford's first IG post, she addresses Williams' alleged disrespect to uh, McKinley's mother. Uh, she goes in to say, one thing I don't stand for is disrespect, she wrote in part. Okay, I don't care who you are. You don't disrespect anyone's mother. You don't call someone's mother out their name. She continued adding, you definitely don't try and put your hands on anyone's mother. Many have asked me my opinions on the show, so here it is. I'm glad that I declined to be on there. Okay, I don't agree with a lot that's being portrayed, but, but what I'm grateful for is that the world gets to truly see who Dennis and Mama Gina are. Okay? She is singing the praises of Dennis McKenna and his mom. Okay, I can be here for it. I'm on the outside looking in, showing uh, showing improving what they show me so I can comment on it. That's all. Can't say I'm in their whole team all together, but I have definitely crossed out of Porsche's team. All right, and I'm in the fence. I'm in the middle. I'm liking Dennis at this point. Didn't like him too, too, too uh, cool when he was cheating out on Porsche and stuff like that. Cause you know, men's and sometimes women, they vaginas and their penises get wayward sometimes, and they want to do what they want to do. Is Porsche clean out the whole situation? Nope. Her milk is clouded as well. The waters are very murky. Okay, but it is what it is. Porsche needs to forgive that man and leave him alone and go on with her life with uh, Simon Gabbardi. If that's where she choose to be at this time and stop playing fences and stop thinking she can get both of them because what's going to happen they both going to leave her high and dry and then it's already it's gone from what i'm understanding but you know like i said they have a child together things can be worked out time can heal wounds and we may see them back together again however you know i don't know i'm still in limbo like you guys but going back to the article it says uh 
continuing to praise Den Dennis and his mom she added once that over the once that over the years I have gotten personally gotten to know and love ones who have called and checked in on me and my family almost every day since my mom passed she concluded no one can ever say anything bad about them or disrespect them in my book i would not stand for it and i can understand her take on it they were there when she was at her very low and she know the good hearted spirit they do have but to co-sign and know somebody totally entirely where you're gonna be down with them four flat tires i think you need to like you know be cautious tread lightly and just let the relationship grow you know what I'm saying? So you can learn the ins and outs. Because like I said, you ain't known them all your life. You know them of a period of when Portia put them in your life. Okay? Just see what it is. Just showing what I know. But kudos for you respecting and trying to be on their side of the situation. Where it seems like Portia's always trying to shade it or mask it and try to put it in her favor. Alright? So kudos to Tarika. But going back, it says she also answered viewer questions in the post and gave a response to one that someone had had about her opinion about William single body's relationship. She says, I don't agree with messing around. Better yet, being engaged to a married man, which I told her my thoughts. She said of the relationship and her response among a few others words, be blessed and oh, has the Lord been blessing me? Ooh, did Portia get down and use the Lord name in vain? Ooh, now you know the Lord ain't gonna like that. <laughs> and Portia, slow your roll because your boyfriend, you may call him your fiance, but right now, to me, he's your boyfriend. And uh, he already said he has a moving company on speed dial. So any infraction you make that he may or may not like can end you back up with your mama over in the house that you told her to house it for. Okay, just saying it, get it, got it good. All right, moving back to the article, it said Ford also said she was asked to be on the show but declined after not hearing from her or Diane since my mom passed. And then months later asked to do a show. She also said she declined it because she knew initially they wanted to create a fake narrative that Williams has a village adding that she's not a seat filler. Okay. And you know we know it all aired on Bravo this past Sunday. We got down with it. They supposed to I think give us another yeah, they're supposed to give her one more scene and then it should be hasta la vista for that show. And hopefully it never resurrects itself. Okay, we can go on and see if Portia gonna marry Simon, which everybody and 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 the garbage man know is full of shit. It's, it's, it's just fake foolery and fuckery and fraudulent. And it's, it's never gonna take place. Uh, because if anybody that has eyes to see and ears to hear, there's no love there. There's no affection. There's no camaraderie of, ooh, I just love you. I want to protect you. I want to be with you the rest of my life. Blah, 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 blah. There's none of that. Okay? But it's just up to us to all make our decisions whether we want to continue to look at the uh, show. You know, because right now it was on fire the last time I uh, did my spill on it on a video and when i'm saying on fire I ain't talking about like fire good i'm talking about fire like will it just combust in flames and disappear from the atmosphere that's what i'm talking about okay but it is what it is tyrica ford came out did her darn thing she took up for uh, mama gina and dennis and if any allegations or any litigation may come about this year in 2020 with portia trying to say do or infringe on the livelihood of her ex-boyfriend and if her cousin storm want to try to do something too she got a whole they got a whole lot of people being in mama gina and dennis on their side that will sit in defense of portia trying to do anything negative her and storm to mama gina and uh dennis mckinley right now they're both smelling like flowers blooming in the springtime and nothing can touch them because portia pretty much done dug her grave picked her cast the cast has been lowered and the dirt is falling on it and, and the flowers are being thrown in there and we just waiting for the vault to be sealed 
pretty much when it comes to her getting a spinoff or another season of this debauchery no <laughs> no the writings on the wall and i'm sure the ratings were up only because we got a glimpse of seeing some type of drama Zization going on some type of spiciness we didn't want nobody to get hurt but we knew somebody was throwing them bows you know what i'm saying throwing them bows one two knockout tko it's kind of stuff going on you know that kind of gets you in the spirit because you want to see what's going on like i said you don't want nobody to get hurt but you know everybody like a little mess a little drama a little hands hitting here and there yeah, not for the you know like really leaving what do you call it spots and, and, and scratches and and, and evidence you know but when a person is just living foul doing foul things you be like okay they deserve it because they'll live another day <laughs> you know it's just like facial wounds they ain't no bones broken they, it'll be okay <laughs> you know because when we were kids that's all we did was fought like alley cats out there you know because you talked about my mom and you said this about my mom you know the mama things the mama jokes that ended up in fights here and there when knowing good and well they ain't know your mama they ain't lay eyes on your mama they don't even know what she looked like from another, another woman going down the street you know what i'm saying but then with five words back in the day you want to talk about my mama and then your mama and your dad be sitting up there like why you get somebody get your go every time it don't think they gotta say you know your mama your mama and they don't know they don't know your mama but they don't know they knew when they were little in your age, they didn't like their disrespect, you know, so they were just taking up for them. And, you know, we go back in our room, be like, I wonder if she whooped their ass. Did he get that ass? You know, you know what I'm saying? I, I think she get that ass. You know, I think he whooped that ass. You know, we be saying it, but we don't want to give our kids that impression that we were okay with them getting into a brawl with another child. You know what I'm saying? But behind them closed doors, we be, we be asking, we be telling, you know, like, what, 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 did you really whoop that ass? But it is what it is. Okay, so that's all I have for this uh, particular video. Do y'all agree with Tariqa Ford, their cousin? Probably distant, distant, distant cousin at this time. Because she dropping tea that they don't want nobody to hear about. Because even Portia shit that mess down about giving an interview of what happened to the fight the night before. When they were filming the next day. She like, uh, being rude to the producer. And he was just asking a simple question. Are y'all going to forget about the fight that happened last night? Is anybody going to talk about it? Am I in another plane of existence? Come on now. Y'all know this television and we need that uh, footage. And Porsche like, uh, are you finished? Have you finished shooting us for today? Because we, we, we need to go home. I need to catch a plane. And that white producer said to her, okay, her black behind. Look, honey, we don't pay you good money. We paid you for drama. We haven't received on the checks that we're going to be putting in your bank account as the account transaction has been good and we deem the, the uh scene sufficient so you could get paid you don't want it to come back insufficient funds do you <laughs> so you better act correct you better think about it for a while because we ain't finished and of course you know she had to come back do her thing she didn't like it she didn't love it but she did it because she wanted that money and she had to give us some explanation on what happened but uh, they definitely edited it and put that out there that Portia called her family members and said don't nobody talk about the, the fight scene uh, that happened the night before and they were all with ingredients until else to open her mouth the family friend to my, well I was told not to say anything and then Miss Liz with her high polluting behind uh, hierarchy gonna sit up there and say well I was told not to say nothing about from Portia I was like oh my god do you, uh, do you need, need two caskets quick fast in the herd so you can throw those dead bodies in there? Because they're going to be dead when Portia got back to Atlanta. <laughs> but that's all I had, guys. Y'all like and love. Gotta have more. Come on back to the house. Sit on the couch in the chairs. Get your snacks. And let's sit and have a little chit-chat time. All right. But that's all I got. I will see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.